Hi guys, it's Reese from Biomechanics Healthcare here. It is Osteopathy Awareness Week, so I've put together a short little video here uh, telling you guys how I got to become an osteopath, the kind of things I do in the treatment room, and a few other little bits and pieces that you might not know about me. Enjoy. Well, in all truth, it was actually my mother. She had a shoulder problem, and she'd been to a few different health professionals with no results. She saw an osteopath and boom, she was so impressed, she decided that I had to become one. I think it was also because she knew she wasn't getting any younger and she was going to have a few problems in the future, so you know, some free osteopathy wouldn't go astray. I love the osteopathic holistic approach that looks at the body as an entire thing and how one area will affect another area makes treatment really interesting all day long as no two patients that walk through the door are going to be exactly the same. The first time I see someone I will go through a detailed medical history looking at the reason why they've come in, what could be contributing to it, um, as well as finding out if they've had treatment before, what has worked and what hasn't worked. We'll also need to figure out if there are any potential serious health problems known as red flags, which would be a good reason for me to send that patient to a doctor instead of treating them because that could be unsafe. Once I've got the information I need, I'll do a physical examination, which will involve me moving patients around, poking and prodding and trying to find out what is causing the pain, as well as looking globally to see all these other areas and what could be contributing to their problem. As far as treatment wise, I use my hands heaps. So things like some soft tissue massage, stretching, joint adjustments, kinesio taping, even dry needling. There's a whole range of things that I can do, but it depends on the patient. Sometimes patients aren't comfortable with certain techniques and that's totally fine. I'll just tailor the treatment to suit them. Yes and no. I do use things like foam rollers, resistance bands, or even sometimes gymnastics rings uh, to treat people inside, inside the rooms here. Yes and no. I do use things like foam rollers, resistance bands, and even sometimes gymnastics rings inside the treatment room. As far as machines like ultrasound or TENS, while I do have them, um, I think that there are more effective ways of getting results using my hands. And to be honest, those machines are out the back gathering lots of dust. So something I'm really excited about is that I'm about to finish my postgrad course in animal osteopathy. The course is known as Animal Biomechanical Medicine. I've been studying it down in Melbourne for the last couple of years with some other talented osteopath vets and chiropractors. So it's going to be pretty cool to you know, finally get that degree and then I can go out there and treat your family pet as well. So something pretty new that not even many of my friends know is that I'm playing in a band. Uh, I have to say thanks to Kathleen, our massage therapist, who opened up a music school just recently, signed me up to the band, didn't even tell me until she said, you're in the band. So it's been about 14 years since I've been on the stage and about the same amount of time since I've had a guitar lesson. So I'm pretty rusty, but it's really exciting to get back into this.